Hi, this is John. Uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, what I wanted to show to you today is my do-it-yourself uh, face mask with uh, uh, cool air. Um, essentially, it's a ventilated mask. It doesn't have, I wouldn't call it dust protection per se. It's not a $400 mask, doesn't take batteries, doesn't take any of that. Uh, what it starts with is the uh, uh, Uvex uh, Bionic Mask. It's uh, rated and uh, so far I really like it. And I plan on buying another one. I've already bought a replacement shield because, uh, of course, day one uh, I've got a small shop here and I had the uh, uh, cover flipped up in the air, reaching for something, and sure enough, walked right into, uh, or the top of it walked right into uh, one of my overhead ducts, put a little ding in it. Not enough to uh, uh, make a problem on there, but uh, yeah, I got a little booger on there. But uh, started with the mask in there, and what I have for some of you uh, old guys and girls alike, that uh, if you have a CPAP uh, machine, if you have a spare one that you're not using, this is my old one. This one is a ResMed uh, Compact, it's S8, doesn't make a difference to what it is. Essentially, it uh, takes in air through a tiny little filter in the back. And, with modern uh, science, it will go ahead and then uh, shoot that through this uh, hose. It's like a six foot hose, it has a small connector that fits to a face mask. This is the base of the face mask that would be on. And then there's all kinds of rubber as well as a connector, um, kind of like a sling that goes around your head, all kinds of different versions. What I did was I simply took the base, the uh, face mask, um, ground it down so that it would fit the contour of the top of the helmet uh, a little easier, and marked the spot, uh, drilled a hole in here. If you look close, or if you can, my uh, hole isn't real uh, fancy, nothing great. Um, it's just a way to get the uh, air in uh, to the mask in here. And uh, yeah, it's your mask. Uh, you decide whether you want to put holes in it. I decided it was definitely worthwhile. It's only a one inch hole in there. Plus I did a couple of smaller holes here in order to put zip ties. And with that, I used the holes that were already in the mask and uh, zip tied it down. This has a swivel and Normally if a user was wearing it, they could still have their mask on, take the hose off, walk around if they had to get up in the night or something, and not to remove the mask. Put this back on, clip it in, and short extension hose, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So with this, in order to make it uh, pivot um, on the user's head, uh, on the extension here, I first used a fancy uh, rubber band, had one laying around here. I know it's going to dry rot, so... While well, I was looking for something a little better, I happen to have a, 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 oh, a Velcro tie. Put that on here so it will swivel around, give me a little bit of movement as I tip this back and forth. But in all honesty, I find out that uh, as I'm wearing it, I don't put it up nearly as much because then I lose the cooling effect. Really like it. Um, I get hot down here sometimes, especially if I have my uh, Turner smock on. Otherwise, uh, the rest of it is simply a old fanny pack, you know what that was. Um, you might not admit it, but it's a man purse. So uh, with that, uh, it's an older fanny pack. Just simply slide the CPAP in there. It's already plugged in. Uh, hooked to that, I have uh, this green extension cord. I believe it's about 14 feet long. I've got a small shop. It's about 9 feet by about 12 feet. However, I do have more room on the far end for storage. So if I plug it on the far end here, I can reach the whole shop and I can still reach my storage area. So I just got the tether program. So I thought it would be an issue, but uh, it's not really. Because at this point, uh, hose goes over the uh, back. And the fanny pack, hardest part, is uh, getting the strap around your back, uh, adjusting it in. I have it set up so it's on my back side. Um, as far as it, uh, filtering the air, CPAP has a very tiny filter. These are replaceable. This is an older model I no longer use, so I just keep the filter clean. Clips in. Because this is in the fanny pack, I leave the zipper open, and it seems to get plenty of airflow. I was thinking about taking just a furnace filter, cutting it, putting it over the top as a pre-filter, but so far it's not been an issue. It's not getting that much through there. Again, I do wear a regular face mask, 
and uh, so I use this just for the cooling effect but uh, simply it just uh, turns on and then at that point airflow comes up down and right over my head down through the face here and uh, if uh, if I didn't have such a good uh, um, dust mask on that I do like to wear the entire time if a machine is turned on I'm wearing it um, I'm definitely a lot healthier by wearing it and enjoy it but uh, face protection anytime the lathe is turning this is on I use it on most of my other machines as well again with the tether program I can reach the whole shop and on um, the rare occasion that I don't use the uh, the airflow for something it's just a quick uh, drill or something I'll go ahead and uh, connect take the connector off here the velcro drop the hose and uh, then I'm good to go just with helmet I'll be buying a second one and I'll keep that one uh, just for uh, the off the odd cut when I run down the basement here but uh, love it and uh, of course it looks cool put it on oh yeah and uh, surprising uh, how quiet it is and uh, it just works so for zero outlay these machines cost I think my last one was close to a thousand bucks but the insurance covered it and uh, uh, beyond that, this was an older one. I had it sitting in the closet. Um, I saw somebody online that was using one. I'm like, that's a good deal. That makes a lot of sense for having a cool airflow. And uh, they hooked it up into their ceiling, had a box with filters in there. But at that point, then they were using double lengths of tubing, and that was just too much. Having this uh, over my shoulder, not a big deal. And uh, it definitely keeps me cool. So just thought I'd put that idea out there. In zero out cost, zero outlay. Um, I already had the cord that was left over from a Christmas tree. Fanny pack was uh, from uh, years ago. Mask I always wear, had it, and a couple zip ties. So good luck, have fun, and hopefully you found this uh, beneficial. Take care.